What's up guys, DRock1992 here. Uh, for this next video, I'm going to review a movie I watched about two or three weeks ago. The reason I'm going to review it is because it was a 2014 release. I've decided any 2014 releases that I do see this year, I will review because they were just recent. Uh, the movie I'm going to review today for this video is The Other Woman. Uh, it stars Cameron Diaz, uh, Leslie Mann, and uh, Kate Upton, Nicki Minaj, uh, Nicolaj Coaster Walp. Dan, if I'm saying his name right. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty simple plot. Uh, the guy, Nicolaj, I'll just call him Nicolaj, he is an adulterer who... He's an adulterer who establishes a relationship, a month, months-long relationship with Cameron Diaz's character. Um, they have a relationship... Eventually, Diaz's character discovers that he is a cheater, and he is married to uh, Leslie Mann's character. Those two end up working together to try to expose Nicolaj's character, and then they find out that he's, in fact, cheating on both of them with Kate Upton's character. So... He's kind of having, like, he has two mistresses on the side, and he has a wife. Um, which is definitely an interesting kind of plot to have for this movie, uh, for sure. Um, so basically, it's about revenge. It's about these three trying to get revenge against Nicolaj and his character for, for, cheating, on both, for cheating on all three of them. They try to get revenge on him, and that, is, yeah, that's essentially the plot of the film. Uh, saying that, I like the film. I, I liked it. Um, the star, the star to me was Leslie Mann. Uh, Leslie Mann was the absolute star of this movie. She was just, I thought she was very funny, incredibly funny. Cameron Diaz wasn't that bad either. Um, she played second fiddle to Leslie Mann, I feel, but she played off of Leslie Mann pretty well. Um, I was surprised. Nicki Minaj, of course, is known as a, uh, a rapper slash R&B type, uh, singer. Uh, I was surprised she actually did a pretty good job acting. I didn't mind her performance at all. Um, I, I liked it. It was it was pretty good. The two, the guy Nicolaj Coaster, uh, Walt Dan, I I think um, Nicolaj. I'm just gonna say because I'm probably gonna pronounce the name wrong. Uh, Walt Walt Dow, Nicolaj Coaster Walt Dow, who I had never heard of before before who I had never heard of before this movie, he didn't do a great job acting. I really I didn't like his acting performance all that much. It just wasn't that great. And then, Kate Upton, who you're billing, who this movie bills her as, like, the third, you know, a supporting character, um, slash lead character. They promote her as that in the movie, but they don't have her. I mean, they use her the least out of all of those characters. Cameron Diaz and Leslie Mann get their good screen time. But Kate Upton doesn't really get that at all. With what screen time she does have, she's not that good of an actress. I think it's one of her first... Um... Now, Kate Upton had a cameo in um, Tower Heist, the 2011 movie, I think, starring Ben Stiller, Eddie Murphy. Good movie, but she only had a, uh, a look-see appearance, basically. She played a um, the wife of a very rich uh, guy at the tower, where, uh, at the hotel where um, Ben Stiller's character worked at. Uh, so she didn't have a speaking appearance, speaking role. 
This one's really one of her first, as far as I know. And it is clear that if Kate Upton wants to be a good, wants to be a successful actress, as well as a model, obviously Kate Upton's known for the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues two years in a row, I believe. Uh, being named the sports woman, you know, model of the year. But if she wants to pursue a career in acting, she is going to have to work at it. I, I love you, Kate Upton, but you're just, you're not good in this movie acting. I mean, when Kate Upton, um, the three, I'll give you a scene in the movie. The three... Actresses Diaz, Man, and Upton—they were to—they were talking about ways to try to ki you know, to try to get revenge on Nicolaj's character. And Upton's like, "Let's kick him in the balls." My God, is that quote the, the that quote's one of the dumbest quotes I've ever heard in a movie. One of the dumbest. You thought you you could have thought you know maybe it's so cliche it's so like anybody could do that anybody could say that really but that is so dumb um and her performance uh, it wasn't that good uh for the movie itself I would have to give the movie it itself a three and a half out of five stars. That's my overall review of it. I think the performance by... The lack of performance by Nicolaj, his character, I think it really does hurt the movie in some ways. And Kate Upton, who you're billing as... Again, you're billing her as a lead, lead actress, supporting actress, alongside Cameron Diaz and Leslie Mann. And she doesn't get used that often in the film. That was a problem I had with it. But then again... Maybe it was a good thing because we didn't get to see much of her acting. Acting. Again, Kate Upton, if you want to be a successful actress and work in this business and really establish yourself, you're going to have to work at it. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I was surprised. If, again, I was surprised by Nicki Minaj's portrayal. I, I thought she was pretty good. I thought she was pretty solid. I didn't really expect much of her going in, but she did a decent job. So yeah, three and a half out of five stars. I think Kate Upton and Nicolaj, it, their characters both, they didn't need to be in the movie. Well, Nicolaj's character needed to be in the movie, but anybody could have played that role and anybody could have played Kate Upton's role. But overall, I thought it was an enjoyable movie. I would I would watch it again. Um, Leslie Mann's performance, absolutely funny. Um, Cameron Diaz, pretty good alongside her. So yeah, I have to give it a positive review. Three and a half out of five stars is that review for me. And um, that's it for this review. Uh, DRock1992, out.